Okay, so welcome to the basic I.O. tutorial uh, for FCPU on how to get stuff into and out of uh, the FCPU combinator, as you can see here. Uh, right now it's in a halt state because uh, whenever it stopped, it's just going to say halt, even if you're stepping through it. And if I, yeah, press play, you know, it's, I mean, not play, but run, only when it's running will it say uh, run, so don't let that uh, display to you. Anyways, <coughs> the way you uh, get stuff into and out of your FCPU is by specifying the uh, signal itself, either on your red wire or your green wire. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is just show you that your uh, signals, regardless of whether it's coming from the red or the green wire, if it's a signal of the same value. Uh, in this case, I'm going to have a virtual signal B on the uh, red wire as well as the green wire. Uh, it could be the same value. It could be like a totally different value. It could be whatever. Uh, I'm going to set this to like two right here. So I have B uh, equal to one on both the red and green wire. Uh, with the normal combinator, if I connected both the red and green wire to the combinator, it would just add them up, right? Uh, let's see. And here. Okay, so B. I don't know, not zero or something like that. I'll put B. B equals 2, right? So as you can uh, see, if I uh, over here in this area, the output is read as B is equal to 2 because I have two B signals. It says under input B is equal to 2 because you get B1 here plus another B1. Uh, one. So 1 plus 1 is 2, of course. And it's just going to add those together, right? Not so with the FCPU. You don't have to worry about these things intermingling if they're the same uh, virtual signal. Okay, so the way you import your signals from the uh, inputs is you use either your F uh, either FIG or FIR, which uh, stands for finds a signal on the input. Uh, basically, the green input wire is for F is FIG. And on the red wire, it's FIR. So find a signal on input wire green, input wire red, or whatever, uh, where you want to place that signal if it's found. In this case, I'm going to say register 1. So if I find the signal, it's going to be put on register 1. And then, of course, you have to specify the signal type. You can't just say find everything on the red wire or on the green wire and throw the thing into your uh, memory channel or your registers or whatever. Uh, the way they do it right now, because uh, Factorio, uh, the way the Factorio engine works, unfortunately, uh, just as a nice little example here, I uh, actually changed this around. So I said B, A, and uh, M, right? They're uh, aligned right now as the output signals. And of course, if you look over here, it will say B, A, and M. But if you reload the save, there is no guarantee that it's actually going to be arranged in that order of B, then A, then M. It could be M, A, B, A, B, M, whatever. It is basically a giant soup coming in and out of these wires. There is no ordering, unfortunately. So uh, in order to actually get something out of one of these wires, <clears throat> the way the, uh, look at that. See that shit right there, A, B, M, right? Take a look at that. Okay, this is the uh, problem. So even though I specified on the constant combinator, in this order B A M, it says A B M, right? Ordering does not exist on the wires ever. So the way the uh, FCPU devs uh, dealt with that problem is they said, okay, well, we're not going to look at the uh, everything on. We're not going to go by like positions because you see it says one, two, three, four, 
you know, you have like 256 uh, total signals, but since ordering doesn't matter, there is no command for the first signal on that wire because it could be a totally different, uh, it could be A, it could be M, it could be like Zeta, whatever, could be just for your first position. And so it's absolutely unreliable to specify by what the first or whatever if signal uh, on that line. You have to specify the type. And that's what your FIG and FIR commands do. They, they basically filter out whatever's coming in on that wire based on the type and not the order in which they're received because they're, otherwise it would be unreliable. So with FIG and FIR, you have to say what your signal type is going to be. Uh, if you want to say what, if you want to specify uh, what the type is, as you can see, I have a little button here. Uh, you, you could technically type uh, a text in. This is like virtual signal something and like a bracket or whatever as pure text. Uh, if you actually copy the program and paste it into your text editor, you can in fact see that. If you actually copied and uh, pasted this, copied this and pasted it uh, into a text editor, you would see like virtual signal something something or whatever and some uh, brackets if you want to play with that. But the best way to do it is just go over here to this little dot box, click it, and you have like every signal in the game, including your mods, of course. So AI zones, you know. Uh, Oh, this is the com a crafting combinator mod, so it has a recipe an icon for each recipe that you can uh, tell the thing to, whatever. So yeah, you have all this stuff to pick from, and of course, all you need to do is actually click the signal, and it'll uh, paste it in here. So that's how I got these signals here, is you just click your little dot, uh, opera, you know, little uh, dot button to open up this little dialog box. And, you know, you can have inserters, you can have black market uh, accumulator, whatever the hell it is you want, and it'll insert it. Uh, just know that regardless of where your cursor is uh, in this little text editor, this uh, thing doesn't really care about you. <laughs> you know, uh, regardless of wherever, wherever you're actually typing or trying to insert this thing into, Currently, FCPU uh, won't insert it at the cursor position. It'll actually, the, uh, if I click here, you know, notice how the cursor was like over here. Regardless of where your cursor is, it only throws it at the very end of the text document. <laughs> it throws it at the very bottom, no matter what, every single time. So you just have to learn how to cut, copy, paste. <laughs> you know, so say I want to put it over here. I just have to click wherever you want to put it, and then, you know, control V, you know, paste the thing in. So that's a little annoying, but that's uh, how you, uh, that's how you can insert your uh, signals and stuff and specify it. So yeah, just, uh, you know, keep that in mind that it will throw it at the, at the very bottom. Uh, I mean, you could, as you write, you could insert these things as you write the code out, but sometimes you want to go back and insert things, but yeah. Yeah, just know you're going to have to move stuff around a little bit. But yeah, so that's how these commands work. Uh, so just a little recap. You can only grab specific signals from your inputs uh, by specifying the type in advance. Uh, so if there's something else coming in on here that's arbitrary, uh, something, you know, if you want to get like any kind of signal of a certain type, uh, like within a range, uh, you can't do that. You only you can only specify one type of signal, and that's it, at least per line. You can say find FIG or some other thing, and then like a whole bunch of other different signals, but you need to, ha but uh, each command only responds to one type. So if I wanted A, B, C, D, E, F from the green uh, channel, for example, which is not here, but if I wanted A, B, C, D, E, F, I would have to have a command for each uh, line as it uh, currently stands. So yeah, uh, just keep that in mind when you uh, want to import stuff. So that's how you uh, get your inputs. Okay, I'm going to do like a quick thing here before I talk about the move uh, commands. With uh, all these assembly language based uh, <coughs> commands, the way the syntax works is that uh, as opposed to a normal programming language where you say like 
A or B or whatever it is you want to, uh, whatever variable you want to set uh, something equal to. So in this case, I say R4 equals five is what you would normally do in a programming language. So say you want to say uh, variable A equals five, right? That you would type it like this, you know, like the variable equal sign five. Well, in uh, assembly language, uh, same thing with the FCPU uh, language, you say your operator, in this case, the equal sign is replaced with MOV or move, doesn't actually move. Uh, it's the same exact thing as your equal sign. So you have your operator, your destination of where you want to set things to, and then you have uh, your source. So it could be another register, it could be a memory cell, it could be whatever. Uh, but you put that in your, uh, as your third argument. So instead of R4 equals 5, it's basically equals R4, 5, would be the equivalent of what this thing is kind of doing. So uh, just keep that in mind. All your operators are going to be uh, first and foremost, just like you saw with the FIG and FIR commands. And your destination is your first variable. And your whatever it is that you want to uh, do to that destination, your input basically comes afterwards. So your output comes first, then your input. So operator, output, input. It, that's just how, how it do for whatever reason. So right here, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, setting register 4. In this case, it's uh, 0. And we uh, setting that register's value to 5. Right? So move that there, you know, this step ahead, move it. And as you can see, there is no uh, type assigned. You just take a plain value and you move it into your register. So of course you can work with this uh, register. You know, I could say like add five to register or whatever, or another register that's not even, uh, that's zero or something like that. I can play around with it inside of FCPU. So constants as they are can always be played around with. You can always do stuff uh, inside of here, whatever kind of operations that you want. But just know that whenever you want to put stuff into your output, when you want to move something out of the FCPU, it needs to have a type, whether it's A or B or any of these different signals that you have. It always has to have a type when you put it outward, otherwise it gets obliterated. It just it won't even show up in your output, it won't show up in your desk and uh, anything that you link the output to. It won't read it whatsoever. Just like if you uh, say, say uh, six as as a default. I know this factorial doesn't uh, give it a zero value anymore. So yeah, see uh, six here in this case is a zero value. If you hover over, right over. If you look over here, six doesn't show up. Only non-zero values show up, right? The exact same thing goes on with uh, when you move stuff out of the combinator for an FCPU or any other combinator for that matter, right? This is no exception. So just keep that in mind. You do need a type uh, assigned along with your value. So you need a non-zero value and you need an actual type. And just as a little example here to show you that, yeah, this won't do anything if I move whatever's in register four into the output, right? Because this is what's gonna, if you wanna know what this thing is putting out, you can go here to your memory channels, look at your outputs, and right now nothing's being output. But uh, in order to move stuff into your output, what you do is you say move, and you uh, say out, which is your output buffer, and you actually have to specify a given location. So as you can see when I mouse over, I have in brackets like seven, two, one, whatever. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say position two. So output buffer position two, which will be right here. Uh, move whatever value is in R4. I'm gonna say move what's in R4 into uh, value two. Doesn't do anything, right? Won't show up at all. Why? Because there's no type. So just uh, keep that in mind. Now, of course, I can, uh, just as a little example here, like I said before, if you 
move a constant regardless of whether or not it has a type. You can always move values around inside of FCPU, right? So I just said here at the move command, take what's in R4, move it into R5, and it copies it across. It's just like your equal operator. You're saying whatever R5 is equal to what's in R4, so you're just copying it across. That's another thing to know with the move command. Move command is, just remember, always it's the same exact thing as equals. Move is equals. Move equals equals. You know? it's, and you're not actually taking a value from one location and moving it into another. You're actually copying it across because if I actually did move what was an R4 into R5, this would have been zero because I took that value and moved it out of this little box into this box, you know, but no, move actually just copies, just like your equal sign does. <laughs> but most programming languages, of course, C-based ones, not, you know, there's probably some other funky ones, but uh, we're not going to deal with that. Anywho, so in order to get this little guy to uh, exist, by the way, if you click your... Uh, registers, uh, it automatically inserts the abbreviation for that register into the, uh, at the bottom of your script. <laughs> so that, that's a little useful, but it could also be a bit of a nuisance sometimes if you're not careful. Anyways, uh, what I'm going to do now to remedy the situation of the thing not actually uh, being output. <coughs> Layla, what the hell are you doing? Sorry, my dog here wants attention, so she's like, what, you want to go live under the desk? Okay, go under my desk. There you go. Please please stop destroying everything with your tail. Good girl. All right, sit down, baby. Good girl. Yes, my little loving chocolate lab here. Anyways, uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to assign a type to this thing so that it can be output. And the way you can do that is you say SST for set signal type, right? And then you specify what type of signal. In this case, it's going to be C. So I'm going to take the C value and set R3 to that value, right? And why did I not do it to R4? Well, I just wanted to show that you could also set the signal type without the uh, value. So in FCPU, it doesn't have to be a pair. It could be, you could set the signal type independently, you could set the value independently, whatever the hell. But whenever you want to do an output, you have to give it both a type and a value. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give this uh, zero value a non-zero value. I'm going to increment it, right? So I'm going to say INC, which is the same thing as like your little plus plus operator and uh, like you know C or something like that. So I'm just bumping it up from zero to one. If I said increment again, it'd be uh, if I repeated this command, it'd be uh, you know, move it from one to two. That that's what increment does. Anyways, so just increment it, make it a, a non-zero value, and now I'm going to move whatever is in here into the output buffer. Right? In this case, it's going to be output two, and this time it exists. So there you go. So whenever you, s you move something to your output buffer, you can't just say move out. You have to only specify what location. I know I said that before, but just keep that in mind. There is the emit command, which is a little funky. Um, I think I used it wrong. I, I don't know. I, I, I've never had much luck with it. Then again, I just say emit like, your, like the register value. Um, I've seen on the uh, Discord page for FCPU, I've seen people specify like a signal type and like one, they'll write it like this or uh, or the opposite. They'll say it like one or whatever, or five or three or something like that. Uh, not for FIG, of course, but uh, what they'll do is they'll say like, why is it not? Okay, sorry. For some reason, I can't click the uh, thing. MOV, actually, I'll say, they'll do something like this. Emit. Let me see if I'm getting it right. Doing this for science here. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. 
Yeah, I never have much val much uh, success with it. I think I have to go back to the Discord and screw around with it. But usually, the surefire way of not being frustrated with this damn thing is just to say, move output buffer. You know, output. Move it to your output buffer. Where in the output buffer so the signals don't intersect. And then in this case, it's going to be R3, right? So I'm going to take what's an R3 and put it here. So that's how you move things out of your FCPU. As you just take whatever is here, or you could also take whatever is in your memory. You can say move whatever is in memory, say 5. Move that to output 2, output 256, whatever it is. And they'll do the same exact thing as this command just did for register 3. You know, they'll do the same exact thing. So yeah. Okay, anyways, just to uh, do a recap, FIG and FIR, that's how you get stuff from your input wires, whether it's red or green, FIG being your green wire, so get stuff from your uh, green wire, FIR for your red wire. Your move command is the same exact thing as saying set something equal to whatever value, whether it's a constant or it's a register or what have you. And that's also how you move stuff into your output buffer. And whenever you move stuff into the output, you know, whenever you want to output something, make sure it has both a type and a value that's not zero. So you could have a uh, type assigned to it, but make sure that it's negative or positive, but not zero. And if you do have a non-zero value, make sure it has a type. Otherwise, it may as well just be a zero value type it yeah okay so uh that concludes the io part of this uh, whole tutorial uh next time i'll be covering the uh, arithmetic which is kind of interesting what they did was they uh actually added a few extra syntaxes uh to the add command so now there's a three um argument version to the add command in addition to a uh, two version uh a two argument version so I'll be going over that with add, mole, sub, div, you know, so add and subtract, multiply, divide. And yeah, modulo, power, you know, your exponenti exponentials, mods, and all that shit. That's uh, it's the same exact thing. So, yeah, I'm just going to give you the basics of it. And, uh, yeah, you'll be totally fine with the rest of it. All right, so I'll see you then. Thanks.